So hello, I'm here at this light reading innovator video with Joe Hogan. He's the network CTO at Amdocs. Uh, Joe, um, welcome to the video. We're here to talk about network APIs uh, and the camera initiative, um, a really hot topic. Why do you think that is? Uh, good morning, Gabriel. Um, yeah, look, the, the APIs in, in telecom networks are certainly a hot topic over the last uh, two or three years. There's There's been multiple attempts to try to get it right over the years. And uh, certainly now, as we get into the kind of real deployment phase of 5G, it's an it's an important way of making money. And uh, we certainly see the GSMA driving the new Camara initiative that came up about uh, two years ago to try to make the consumption of APIs a lot simpler for um, users and, for, and particularly for app developers and for companies making devices. So this is a this is very topical and it's going to be one of the ways we make money out of 5G in the future is to be able to open up the networks, to be able to be called to uh, to receive services from the networks. Mm -hmm. I guess the 5G networks are getting to the state where they're, they're good enough now that we can kind of turn them into this, this platform play that operators have talked about for, for so long. Yeah, I mean, a lot of uh, the networks are now starting to finally switch on SA, uh, the, 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 the final architecture on 5G. And uh, this is where some of the more sophisticated services are going to get used. Um, these services, you know, ideally the 3GPP have identified the need to expose the network in the past, but it was it's quite complicated, the, the original system. So things have moved on since then. And now with Camara and, and GSMA behind us driving it, it's much more simplified, um, easier, uh, capability for app developers to use. So we'll we'll see a lot more interest uh, in app developers requesting um, operators to be able to provide these interfaces. And there'll be kind of a longer list of them that will appear over the next uh, couple of years as as new interesting services become available from different operators. Uh, we'll, we'll see a kind of a lumpiness across some of the operators as to what particular operators provide which services, but it's certainly going to be a thing in the future and um, you know you, the mm -hmm. the app developers will be looking to see which services are available from which operators. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned developers because obviously it's important that that the ecosystem puts the right tools and sandboxes and all that kind of capability in, in place for them. The GSMA API Gateway that's a way of essentially simplifying and aggregating many mobile networks right out out to developers. Yeah, so the the, the Open Gateway Initiative is really a initially a marketing exercise to kind of take the Camara API initiative, which has been started by a number of uh, uh, operators to try to reduce the complexity of making calls to the network. The GSMA are certainly uh, big supporters of this. And the idea is to get as many operators around the world um, lined up with the same API strategy so that there isn't API, let's say fragmentation in, in uh, in various operators providing different APIs, but using different protocols. And there's been a bit of a history of this in the past. So GSMA getting behind it is, is really a, a drive to try to get the simplicity of Camara accepted by a lot of operators around the world. And it seems to be working. There's, there's, there's a lot of attention being given uh, to Camara. And uh, you know, I, I think we can expect this to be the standardized approach that the industry has been waiting for for many years. Yeah. Well, that sounds great. What what are some of the the difficulties? And I guess there's there's difficulties on the telco side, but also on the developer or, or customer side. Yeah, I mean historically, and even up until recently, um, operators have had a variety of different APIs. TMF has done a lot of good work uh, to to have internal APIs. Uh, there are um, many different API initiatives. Uh, the Metro Ethernet Forum um, is is another one. Uh, so that these operator APIs now will be exposed through Camara. So we're trying to reduce that complexity. Within the uh, operators themselves, there's usually, and we've certainly seen it in Andox, a number of operators with several different API initiatives going on at the same time. So one of the industry challenges will be for operators themselves to just consolidate the effort going on inside their own companies to expose APIs in the in a consistent standardized way, even if there are many different groups within the operators that are actually working on different API initiatives. So that's 
that's certainly a real challenge because right now for some operators, they already have several of these APIs launched, but they all look quite different. And then they, the other major pillar is monetization, the being able to um, put in enough hooks to be able to charge for these APIs because they do need to be charged for, otherwise they won't they really won't survive in the long term. When it's a charge service, it'll be looked after by the operator. So they want to make sure that they've they've got the different monetization possibilities all included in these API calls. So you can charge based on you can have your your calls you know spot sponsored, um, or you can charge be charged by the call, or you can be have a subscription for a month. You can make an unlimited amount of calls, or you can make a certain number of calls at a certain rate over a certain period of time. So there are many different monetization challenges. And again, Amlox will be will be helping solve some of these API monetization challenges going forward. Okay. Is that your play then? Amlox, of course, does a lot of um billing type of services. Is that your play in this in this segment? It's it's one of them. So the 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 Amlox exposure platform really kind of built on the monetization pillar because we are like a huge vendor in billing and charging systems worldwide, probably the world's largest uh, vendor in that space, and security. So we the the API security challenges. Uh, certainly, some operators to their cost have discovered that it is one of the new ways of being breached is to have a, a weak API. Uh, so we put a lot of focus into how to expose resiliently um, uh, APIs. Uh, and then the ability to be able to kind of fluidly execute these APIs. There's there's going to be demand for lots of them. There, this thing is going to mushroom into kind of a blizzard of APIs going forward. And if you don't have tight control over how you monetize them, how you make each one of them secure, and how you make them all look similar and and simplify them, um, uh, then then it'll be you know you'll be generating tomorrow's problems. So with the Amdocs exposure platform, this is this, these are the kind of our main focuses in in being able to help solve this problem for the industry. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. So to close out, then I mean we talk about uh, mushrooming all these different APIs and many types of services potentially could support. Do you have um, a couple of examples that are sort of live or near live today that you know go beyond a, a text message um, check kind of thing. Yeah, on text message, yeah, the last great innovation. Well, look, the uh, videos, um, uh, certainly, we have a number of different projects. One involves a football stadium where a broadcaster will be going to the live feed from various cameras uh, around the stadium. And each one of these cameras is normally streaming in 1K, but will burst to 8K for broadcast quality. And it's doing that by making calls to the network. So the cameras are 5G enabled cameras that that make the API calls to be able to get a burst video just for the period of time uh, that they're in broadcast. And uh, we have also seen a, a film distribution network and one of our uh, clients um, use the 5G network again through APIs to distribute films to cinemas um, mm -hmm. out of bounds. And we've built APIs to enable uh, many cinemas around a particular country receive the 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 the, the, the latest film um, uh, directly from the distributor uh, over uh, true APIs over five G. And in another case, we're, we're um, working with a an ambulance service to be able to stream video from the ambulance to hospitals. So before the patient gets to the hospital. The doctors already have been in communication with the ambulance crew. They know what what's what's about to arrive, and that's by a video, not by audio. So, mm -hmm. again, the the quality of that video is important, and the network secures that through various API calls. So these these projects are popping up. They're they're all quite interesting. They're all deep and narrow verticals, and I think it's a it's first light on a a new part of the industry where we will see a kind of a blizzard of these going forward. There'll be a lot of different interesting uh, uh, solutions that will depend on the telecom network, uh, making API calls to underpin the particular solution that um, that particular vertical market wants. Yeah, some great examples, Joe. We can see how that could actually mushroom, like you say. Um, yeah. Thanks for talking to us. You're very welcome. Thank you.